Hello, Leo. This is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your June 2018 reading. Hello. Um, so, here we are again, right? One more month. Middle of the year. All right, guys. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for watching. I um, do a daily as well. Just want to let you guys know in case you didn't realize that. You'll see it in the playlist here. I call it co Coffee Convo and Cards. So we do that every morning here. We do rapid fire one card per zodiac sign. And then we then put them all together to get the reading for the elements for the day. Okay. So if you like this, this resonates with you, please go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button. And hit the bell so you know when I put out new content. Uh, I'm going to do a five card. Those of you who have not been with me yet for my monthlies, I'm going to do a five card spread. First card is going to be what's coming towards you, energy coming towards you. Second card is going to be uh, what you're bringing to the party for June. Third card, obstacles you could potentially face. Fourth card, what's going to help you through it. And fifth and final card, either potential outcome or advice, depending on how the cards fall. So here we go. What? Do we have for Leo for this from now until the end of June 2018? All right, a few more shuffles, and we're gonna cut. Leo, from now until the end of June 2018. There we go, last shuffle. Now we're going to come up. Okay. Here we go, first card, Leo. Nine of Wands in the reverse. This is what's coming towards you. So not a very good feeling of fulfillment or a feeling of completion or um, we'll get some clarifications on that. Why that Nine of Wands in reverse is there. Because usually that Nine of Wands in the upright is like, you know, here it is. I've paid a lot of attention to this one thing and it's really blossomed. But we're not, so I'm not seeing that. Or maybe that's an internal, you're just work, doing some work on you internally. So we'll see that in a second, all right? Energy you're bringing into the party. Maybe this is an internal thing for you now. Three of Wands in the reverse. So you're not really feeling like the ship's coming in or it's taking too long to come in. You're not seeing good forward movement. You're not feeling like there's good forward movement. And that's the energy that you're bringing in, which is kind of why you're attracting that Nine of Wands and the reverse energy as well. So, um, obstacle, yeah, you're not really feeling like you're the magician in the reverse. You're not really feeling like you're manifesting what you've been seeking. Like you've really been wanting something and been working towards it and been really focused on manifesting, and it's not happened for you. So it's going to help you. Here, you know what? We've got a ton. This is really good energy for you. This is your fire energy. It's really like we're kind of getting that all in line. Here we got the two of wands in the upright. So what is going to help you? Now, this can be a... Um, collaboration, finding a new collaborator, right, making a decision, sticking with it, and moving forward. I like the Two of Wands energy because she's moving, man. She's reaching out to that sky. The beautiful eagle is out there, and she's calling to it. She's like, hey, let's do this, right? So, I'm feeling that energy for you to move forward. Potential outcome or advice in all this situation. Here we go. High Priestess in the upright. So follow your intuition. You already kind of know what to do here, Leo. Follow that intuition. Um, continue to work throughout. Why is the Nine of Wands here in the reverse? Why is the Nine of Wands here in reverse? Continue to work um, with that Law of Attraction quantum manifestation 
continue to work on that. Uh, don't just give up on it just because it hasn't come into fruition yet. It does work. And I don't know who that's for, but it does work. Okay? You reap what you sow. That's a basic, you know, in Christianity, that's the basic tenet. You reap what you sow, right? It is true. And what you sow when we're trying to manifest, right? When you're trying to change the reality or bring or choose the alternate reality that is the one we wish, be our, live, be our best selves, raise our vibrations, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Why is the three of wands here in the reverse? Um, mm -hmm. Magician, why is magician here in reverse? Uh, whenever we're trying to manifest, right, um, what we're really utilizing, the seed that we're sowing is the emotion. When we visualize the emotion that we feel, that we have, when we see this in our mind's eye, that is our seed. And that's what you have to hold on to. Because... Ooh. Uh, two of Wands, and we're going to go over all these clarifiers. Two of Wands in the upright. Why is two of Wands here in the upright? Um, faith, right, is the evidence of things hoped for, right? And it is it, it, it's the only it's the only evidence we have that this is coming to us is our faith in it and when you when you walk in faith really it's really walking about the belief in the emotion and the belief because the emotion is what gets the mind to actually begin the creation and you speak and you keep speaking like this is here this is it this is it whatever it is your voice your sound the sound waves goes out and creates it well that's not gonna work why is two points here in the upright? I think any really good clarification. My point is this. When you speak it, you believe it, right? And you receive it. Speaking it sends the, the sound waves out. The mind agrees with what the mouth says. Then what happens is spirit gets activated because the emotion is there of, I can see I want that red Ford Escape or whatever. It is. I'm so sorry, guys. So, so sorry. So sorry. Um, and then universe goes out and, ta and takes care of it, creates it, brings it to you. However, the minute you start having doubt, right? Um, and you don't have, feel the emotion anymore about it, then the universe doesn't know what to do. Because you've already, you've put one thing in motion, and now your mouth and your mind or your spirit is saying it doesn't really exist. That's not really what you want because you're worried about whatever. Okay? Why is two of wands here? Maybe I don't need to know yet. Okay, here we go. Energy we're bringing in nine of wands in the reverse, and the clarifying card is the eight of pentacles in reverse. You don't feel valued, validated that your work is being uh, acknowledged, your hard work. You don't feel appreciated, so therefore you really don't understand just what like it's a you don't appreciate the harvest you've been getting and. The growth you've been getting from that hard work because no one's appreciating you on the outside so what I would say to you is appreciate your own hard work and bolster your own feelings about that right validate your darn self or if I can be so blunt validate your damn self okay don't depend on anybody else to validate you all right now that's followed by the energy you're bringing, the three of wands in the upright, also clarified by the hanged man in the upright. You are not at rest, which is why you cannot see the good stuff that's coming on the horizon. You feel like there's nothing coming because you're not at rest, because you're not being validated. You're not being, you know, Leo, your little mane is not being pet, and you just really, in, you know, stroking your ego. You got to start, 
you got to stroke your own ego sometimes, which, you know, sometimes y'all are good at doing. But I do understand when we are not appreciated at our job, especially, and we're putting in so much work, it's so, it is very difficult to really feel like we're making a difference and we're doing a good thing when we're not being appreciated. Um, I asked why then the magician, I get it. So I hear you just pray on it. Okay. Maybe take a couple of days off, shake it off. Um, but really, you know, the right person is going to see that you're doing a good job. All right. Then we have the magician in the reverse. The clarifier is five of one. So there is conflict going on. And that's, I think that's why I just went and was talking about having the conflicting. You can't manifest if your words, your thoughts, your emotions are not in line. Manifestation will not happen. It will never happen. The minute you put worry back in, if you've been trying to manifest a certain amount of money, and then you get this, the, uh, the feeling of lack back in your brain, that's it. Because in the year, you fear. All of this has to be in line, Leo, in order to truly bring into fruition, to, in order to manifest, let's just put it that way, in order to bring that law of attraction into you to attract the things that you want, you have to have everything in line. And you on a, your dailies have been pulling some fantastic, well, this is your cycle of manifestation. So I think the reason why this is even coming up is because I needed to talk to you about that cycle of manifestation and what that really looks like. You visualize it, you speak it, you believe it. You visualize it, you speak it, you believe it. And you keep this in line. You get rid of negative thoughts. And it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience. Meditation, rooting yourself, grounding yourself. Making sure your chakras are in alignment. Making sure they're all the right proportionate size that your heart's not too much bigger than your power center, your solar plexus that your sacral has been healed those are all things that have to happen now, they don't all have to happen in order for you to manifest the very first thing but eventually they have to happen Okay, but remember visualize it, speak it, believe it visualize it, speak it, believe it and then it'll manifest okay you have that here. Follow your intuition. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple of... I'm going to pull two Indigo Angel cards. Oracle cards from Doreen and Charles Virtue. And I have two cards of advice for my Leo friends. Two cards of advice. Oh, I hit it when they run. Hit it when they run. I need a bigger table. I need to get a webcam. I'm going to go get a webcam, I think, tomorrow. So that I'm not using the camera that's on my laptop. Get a better camera. I don't have a lot of space on my phone to um, well I mean I keep on moving around but you know how irritating that can be. Two cards. I look off into the distance. I bet y'all are like, "What? where is she looking? Because I look up in the distance as I'm concentrating. Divine purpose and compassion. I'm going to read compassion. I think divine purpose is, you've heard that from me before. I'll read it. Yes, I'll read it. 
Oh, they're right next to each other. Compassion. The answer to your question involves treating those around you in the same way you wish to be treated. This card reminds you that how you act reflects everything and everyone in your life. This is a time to show the higher part of yourself. Mm -hmm. As an indigo, you can easily detach and see the big picture in each situation. To move forward, you must exude higher energy because what you give out is what you receive. So check in with yourself and take inventory to ensure that you are treating others with fairness and compassion. I didn't even see all that in those cards, Leo, so that's talking to somebody. And divine purpose. Yes. This powerful card relates to your mission here on Earth. Your divine purpose is something you chose to experience on a soul level before coming into this lifetime. When you receive this card in a reading, the answer to your question has to do with life fulfillment and soul lessons. Choose a pathway that leads you to closer to your purpose and let go of the fleeting and temporary diversions. The divine purpose of the indigo is to bring about the changes our planet needs and to help create a society built upon integrity, truth, and cooperation. This card is a message from the angels to realize just how powerful and essential your role is in the world. This is your call to leadership. This isn't a time to back off. This isn't a time for you to kind of retreat. This isn't a time for you to go and pout because what you wanted hasn't manifested. This is the time for you to step on out there and lead. And be that lion, right? Be that lion, that lioness. Be that ruler. We need you. And we don't always necessarily appreciate our leaders. They're not appreciated. And definitely in our own time. A prophet is not received in his own hometown. And that's very true. But we all need you collectively. All right, Leo. Thank you very much. If this resonated again, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the uh, subscribe, excuse me, and that bell so you can know when I'm coming out with new content. Join me in the morning for my morning readings. I haven't decided if I'm going to always go live because I don't know always what exactly what time I'm getting up in the morning, but I have it posted. Um, and then I'll give I'll leave contact information down below so you can reach out to me if you'd like a personal reading. It is still by donation, so whatever you decide, you know, as long as it's blessed you, whatnot, you know, you just, whatever you can afford, it's not a big deal, okay? As always, peace, love, light, blessings, joy. Namaste. Have a wonderful day, wonderful month. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye, loves. Bye-bye.